Hi, my name is Fahim Chanderwala. I work for Wolfram Research. We are going to talk about financial data feeds today, and we are going to talk a little bit about compiler. Not a little bit, but actually a lot more. Uh, but what happened was uh, I was working on an example, and I didn't know I could get it done. So, but I did get it done with the compiler. So now there are two presentations, and uh, because it really didn't make sense to just shoehorn it in the financial data feeds. Uh, but anyways, there's a link, okay? Uh, it's, it's not that off. Uh, but let's, let's talk about financial data feeds. So in Wolfram, we have many products. We have Wolfram Desktop, Mathematica, and one of the products is Wolfram Finance Platform, and in that, we, we have Bloomberg link, and uh, we have Reuters link, and we have Bloomberg data license. All these services we'll talk about in detail. So to get more information about what WFP is, uh, you can click on this link. It will take you to the internet and tell you some more things about it. Uh, there's well, sorry, um, there's built-in financial data. And what that means is that you don't need subscription from any other sources. It's just in Mathematica, it's built in. You can evaluate and you can get finance data right out of the box. And the way we interface that is through entity. Uh, so you have financial entity over here. I'm not going to see that, but uh, these are some of the properties that you can query. So you can get 200 day average, raw low price, and whatnot. Some limitations are here. Uh, you'll always get delayed data because live data is premium. You have to pay money for it. No subscriptions, fewer properties. Now, in, so now because we are talking about external services, we we've kind of have to talk about the Service Connect framework. So we have a bunch of services. I think Twitter and PubCam is an example. We connect to these external data services, get stuff from them. And in this case, PubCam is actually free. So you, it's built in and you can get service execute and it will give you some data about some chemistry data of compounds. And you can do it asynchronously in 12.1, actually in 12, 12.1 is not out yet. So you can just submit the query and there is a callback function and it will set the response. So it happens asynchronously over here. Now, let's talk about Bloomberg Data License. I, it's a very interesting service from Bloomberg because the whole company can get it. They just send you a certificate and anyone at Wolfram can actually get data from the data license. So it's just really nice. Uh, if you are a university, and you have big company and Bloomberg terminal is very expensive. So it's like a service, so you connect to it, you say, tell them what the field is, if not, it will fetch it from the internet. And it uses SSL certificate as I already went through that. And uh, we, after you do connect, kind of hooks into the entity framework and uh, you can get all these properties. Built-in has 73 properties, this one has 19,000 properties and here's an example of uh, how to query data from them. You can get really deep data and uh, all of this is completely supported and you'll get nice uh, associations and
So these are all examples. Uh, I mean, the, I don't want to go into details about each example, but this is the kind of preview that you can get uh, from Bloomberg Data License. But Bloomberg Data License is, I would call it, the API, the service is very much like ordering from Amazon. You order something, they say your order is filled, but it will arrive in two days if you have Prime, right? So this is slow. Uh, so what we do is we actually have to submit and after a minute or two, you'll get data. So just executing will be quite slow. So we have the framework so that you don't use the kernel for two minutes just to get one data point. So here you are submitting a get data request. You'll, and it will go to the Bloomberg service servers and after every week you'll have new data and you'll get, you'll handle it on these functions. You'll print it in this case, so that, that's the demo. Uh, if you already have the response ID, you get result rather quickly and uh, you can redeploy tasks. So because you have these tasks on the Bloomberg server, which run either weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, half yearly, the, these are on Bloomberg service. So you can actually get these and then redeploy them on your stuff. So from Bloomberg's, Bloomberg's perspective, these tasks are already running. And uh, in my case, I have like 192 tasks over there. I mean, I just do testing, so that's why I have so many. Um, and I, I can redeploy them. So here's what I was talking about. Um, I'm here getting the last prize for Vodafone London Equity. It is taking 53 seconds just to get that prize. And uh, this actually explains how, what is the, how the AP internals of the API are. And what is the limitation? Well, there's no live data, sorry. Um, so if you don't have live data, you want live data, you go to Bloomberg Terminal. And uh, you, you need Bloomberg Terminal subscription for it. So you connect it using, I'm going to be brave and who knows what will happen. Uh, I, I don't think I should have been brave. <laughs> it should work, I mean, unless I'm not connected to the internet. Oh, there you are, it's all right. Okay, so once you connect it, it's again hooked into the entity framework. You, you can get all these properties from it. You can get reference data. Because it's hooked up into entity property, you can have these nice looking associations. Historical data, so entity framework, tick data. Now tick data because you know you, you can't use a time series to actually represent, so we use event series of built-in function, uh, built-in data structure to work with statistical methods and whatnot. Um, uh, you can get market bar, high, low, close, volume for everything. And uh, now, if you don't like the entity framework and uh, if you find it cumbersome and you kind of want to get just the raw data, you can use uh, service execute framework and this gets you a little bit lower to, closer to the metals as the saying goes. Um, so you, you get to, you know, you can ask for Twitter sentiment, you can get the description of it. It's all rather nice service actually. Um, 
Here's an example for historical data, tick data, fancy looking bar data, and now we are back to asynchronous stuff. We, we want to get to, here's an example. So, you know, when I was trying to connect to the Bloomberg initially and I was talking about being brave and whatnot, what is happening is that it was getting all these field lists together. And you saw how many, 50,000 or something. So here's an example. So that keeps on updating. So I, I can do, you know, one plus one. And if all goes well, I can still compute. I'm not going, my kernel is not blocked once this data is arriving. Now, here's an example for, hmm, should I do this? Um, when we initially released World from Finance Platform, it was only available on Windows because we only had Bloomberg terminal and uh, so it only worked on Windows, but now we, we support Blue, B pipe, we, we support server API, and uh, it will work on all three platforms. And we also have, and Bloomberg Data License is just uh, HTTP protocol, so it's supported on all platforms. Uh, well, as long as these are those three platforms, okay? Uh, if you have some Android or I, I don't know. Uh, and Reuters is, I didn't talk about Reuters, but it is supported it is supported on Windows and Linux, okay? All right, so now, come on, you can do this. Okay, so while I was working on this, I mean, a lot of people are interested in writing high performance code and they want to write compile stuff and uh, they, they want to call functions from external libraries and whatnot. So what I've done is that uh, uh, I've used the compiler technology to actually get data from uh, Bloomberg. So I, I'm going to go through the example. It's a top-down approach. And uh, I'm going to now close your eyes. Uh, I'm going to do something Interesting, okay, now you can open your eyes and we are on the first slide. Make something move, yeah? So now you have many, many questions and say, okay, fine, current image looks cooler than this. And you'd kind of be right. Uh, I mean, this is just market data. And uh, you, so, Q, well, it's a data structure. Uh, okay, that, that's kind of a flippant answer, but we will move out. And what is this get data function? Uh, it's a compiled code function, actually. Um, and how am I doing this? So you say, what, what is the implementation of it? Here, and now you're saying, well, you just, that doesn't answer anything. What is this get string from Q stuff? And that's the implementation of it. I, I think Abdul actually talked a little bit about. And there you have it. You, you, Q is a proper data structure that you, you're familiar with. You can get from it, you can peek in it. And that's the API right there. And all it's doing is that we are putting data and here it is. Uh, So how, where did it magically appear from? Well, when I asked you to close your eyes, I was doing this thingy, uh, start subscription, and it returns a queue. Okay, and start subscription is also compiled code function. Here's, Here's what's going on. So this is the actual implementation of the start subscription function that I that returns the queue. So I think that's the code. Uh, I 
Q new put. I am putting some stuff there. And uh, so this is just a process event is just a callback function. I'll, I'll talk about that. But the code is just as simple as this, actually. That that's what's going on. I start the session. I say when process event, Q, and all this. And I'll talk about each of them. So argument in configure session as well. You can pass functions around, you, you know, you, you can do that. It's a callback function. What happens is that when I do start subscription, it's an async service. So Bloomberg is starting a thread and I'm passing Q to it. And whenever it has data, it will put stuff in it. And how it puts data? Well, the process event does that. Uh, the logic is in process and then the callback. Okay. Uh, so in that thread, Bloomberg is going to call the process event and is going to supply the queue. And the process event can do whatever with it. It can ignore it, it can put stuff in it, and so on. So, well, this is all C, C++, okay? I, I can show you a little bit of it. Uh, here's an example. This is from Bloomberg, it's Bloomberg's code. It's in C, C++, and that, that's what you're seeing in Mathematica. So this is compiled, right, uh, obviously. Um, so where are these? Well, these are, actually, we can call C functions directly from the library. We, we can do that. and. Uh, if you want to learn more, you, you, you can look at this. For example, uh, I, I can go here, and uh, this is actually an API. I, I wrote all these tools. It's all top level, and uh, so if I do. going to ask for print actually here so I just say it's an external function I want to call it and it takes another callback function and so on right so What I'm doing over there is in the callback function, I am printing stuff to and guess what stream is? The answer is Q, okay? I'm not going to be very fancy about it. But I, I'm putting stuff in that, it's a bad name. I, I should have changed it for this presentation, but I, I did not, okay? Um, now, can I get there by candlelight? How can I do this? How? how you're interested in an external library, you want to write stuff. Uh, so this is the stuff that, you know, I have access to Tom and Abdul, so I just talk to them. And, but a lot of this stuff is documented and it's, it's documented in the compiler menu. It's this, you can go to the help and uh, go to documentation, you go down add-ons and packages, compiler manual. So it, it talks about quite a few of these concepts right there. Um, is, it, is it public, Tom? Um, so no, so. so it is, okay. So maybe I shouldn't talk about this. Yeah. I mean, it says there, okay. And uh, I, I particularly, I mean, this might be just more focused towards internal folks and uh, I, I find this particular page quite useful casting because, you know, you, I, I look at some C code and I'm trying to figure out how do I call it and I get, but now I have, this is a good starting point. Like if I don't know what a pointer is, I just say void handle, okay? And uh, obviously there's a reason for it, but 
So this is like, you see a C function, it looks like this, what would be the Wolfram analog of it? So that's, that's what it kind of looks like. Um, I, I like to be too literal, uh, uh, so X pointer pointer, like two stars, and uh, this is how I'm passing it to the And uh, I use CFF Explorer to just, uh, sometimes, you know, what happens is that uh, the API is a C++ API, but you have a DLL, okay? Uh, and sometimes they don't tell you very well that actually there are these C functions that you can call. So I, I, on Windows, CFF Explorer works rather well. Um, here's an example. So I got started out here. So I, I looked at the DLL and I saw that BLP API element print. I don't know what the answer to that, what arguments it took. I, I just looked at the header files, figured out what happened, but then eventually I learned that long ago, Bloomberg had a PDF that actually talks about all of this in proper way. Uh, so uh, it's, it's a, that's, that's how I really write these things. And uh, some of the other things that helped me were like this. I, I write some simple examples. Like I, I was having issues uh, with uh, the callback functions, you know, how do I return these things? How do I pass them? So I wrote an example, return a number from a callback function. And uh, here's, here's what I did. So. I, I wrote this example and here, so, you know, this is actually a C function. I, I can, so it returns 9001, but I, I can pass my own function that I writ wrote in top level. And now it will return 9002. So I, I do these experiments to help me along the way to figure things out and compile things and write more tools. So anyway, so that, that's really it. Thank you um, as far as this goes. So thank you. Yep. Um, questions? Yes. I, I uh, data license. Uh, I, I I don't follow the question. Sorry. Uh, server. They want to speak about the URL based. Yes, that's URL so based. Which, which API are you calling? Uh, BLP API. So if you have BPipe, server API, or whatever stuff, except for Bloomberg data license, you can use it. And I think we'll. Uh, I, I use it as an example for the compiler technology, but you can do it with any external libraries. And Bloomberg is free, okay? Not the service, but the API, you can get the DLL, anyone can. Uh, and you, you can just start coding. It's the- You can't use the code, but you can compile it. You can compile it, and all of this is accessible, so. Uh, the licensing with the DLL is open, so you, you can compile this code today. Uh, you, you don't need subscription. That, that's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Anything? No. Oh. Well, I, Anthony, sorry to go over. Oh. Okay, thank you.